Hi there, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Wheeler and today I'm going to talk to you about Sacred Flame the Spell. This is part of my Dungeons and Dragons 5e spell video series. Sacred Flame is often viewed by my players as Sacred Miss, uh, but it is still a very good spell. You can find Sacred Flame on 272 of the player's handbook. Sacred Flame is an evocation spell. It is also a cantrip so you can cast it an unlimited number of times. It has a casting time of one action, which means you can cast a bonus action spell if you have one available. You can't make an attack during that same round though. It has a range of 60 feet. It has a verbal and somatic component, so you speak a few divine words and then perform a magical gesture. And a flame-like radiance descends on the creature that you can see within range. The target must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take 1d8 or an 8-sided dice worth of radiant damage. The target gains no benefit from cover when making the saving throw. So we have a cleric here facing up against two zombies. So the cleric here casts Sacred Flame on the zombie right here. They have to make a dexterity saving throw. Now a zombie only has a dexterity saving throw of minus 2. So you roll a 20-sided dice and I have rolled a 9. So add that to 9 which comes to 7. Now the DC or spell DC for this particular spell is probably going to be 13 or higher. This is a first level character, so 13 is the target. You have to get equal to or greater than the DC for that particular spell. The monster doesn't. It gets too low. It gets a 7. So the spell goes off and causes damage. And it's a 1d8 worth of damage. So you get 3 points of radiant damage affecting the zombie. Now as the spell gets more powerful at level 5 you get 2 d8 or 2 8 sided dice worth of damage. At level 11 you get 3 d8 and at level 17 you get 4 d8. If the zombie had rolled higher, in this case the zombie rolls a 16 minus 2 comes to 14. Now 14 is higher than the DC for the particular cleric's spell, which is 13. So in this case it would do absolutely no damage. The great thing about Sacred Flame is that zombies don't like taking radiant damage and uh, that will stop them from actually getting back up if they fall to zero hit points. Sacred Flame is really useful against monsters and creatures that require radiant damage because everything else it has resistance to. It's also really good for keeping monsters, particularly undead, down so they don't get back up again. My players aren't fond of Sacred Flame because they have nicknamed it Sacred Miss and I think that's because the saving throw required is often not as effective as making an attack roll. If you found this video helpful or informative please share, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make a comment below if you have any questions about Sacred Flame and I will answer those questions. If there's anything that I missed from the spell, as always, add them in the comments. Until next time, keep rolling those 20s.